Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. So I'm just gonna go through a few simple stretches that are really nice to do at the end of the day or even if you want a really, really gentle start to the day. I might wanna grab a cushion because we'll do a little meditation at the end. So let's begin on our knees. Going to really gently get into the upper neck, upper back and the shoulders. You might have done this one with me before. So if you're new, hi, thanks for joining me. And if uh, you do lots of my videos, thanks so much for coming back. And uh, feel free to like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Um, so lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders. And then inhale, reach the heart forward. Take the hands to the hips, gaze up. Exhale, slowly feeling each vertebra. Take the spine to the wall behind you. Begin to drop the head only to where it feels comfortable for you and reach the fingertips actively away from you. So they're almost hovering over the knees. Inhale, opening up. Inhale, deeply into the chest. And squeeze the shoulder blades here. Exhale, moving slowly and mindfully. So we're letting this be like a movement meditation here. Really mindful, feeling each sensation in your body. Inhaling, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, like push the spine away, reach the fingertips away. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Come on to your bum. Extend the right leg, left leg even, and bring the right leg up just to where it feels good for you. Lengthen the spine. Now, it's an option to sit on your cushion here. If you've got a lot of tension in the lower back, it's a good idea because it allows you to just get deeper into the forward fold. Inhale, reach the hands up high, gaze up. And exhale, trying to maintain that length in the body. Bring the fingertips to the floor or to wherever you are. And then breathe. So what you want to do is come to your first point of resistance. You don't want to push the body to the point where it's unbearable or so uncomfortable that you can't breathe. You do want to find that edge, so you do want to feel like you're working and stretching the muscles, but you want to be able to breathe into it. So slow, consistent, gentle stretching is what will create your flexibility and also be a safe way to do it. So we'll just take five more breaths. Feel the inhale and the exhale. As you inhale, feel like you're creating space in the body and exhale, let go of any tension. Inhaling new energy. Exhaling, letting go of anything that doesn't serve you. Inhaling, being fully present. Exhale, relaxing. Inhaling gratitude and joy. Exhale, just surrendering into the pose. Very gently walking the hands back up. Pause for a second, take a breath, feel the body, observe any new sensations, and then go ahead and extend the right leg. Drawing the left leg up to wherever feels good for you. Same thing again, you can sit on a cushion to elevate the hips. Reach, 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 reach the hands high. Exhale, keeping the back as straight as possible. Melting down again, just to where it feels good for you. It might be different on one side. And tune inward. Where do you feel the stretches on this leg? Are they more intense? Are they less intense? 
Um, or are they just the same? But tune in, feel your body. Inhale, breathe deeply into the lower back. Exhale, twist the torso over the right leg a little bit more. Take five breaths here. Inhale, creating space in the body and exhaling, letting go of tension. Inhaling new energy. Exhaling, letting go of any negative thoughts. Inhaling joy and gratitude. Exhale, surrender deeper into the pose. Last breath, deepest breath yet. And then inhale, slowly coming all the way up. It really doesn't matter how deep you get into these poses. What's important is how you do them. So you're working with care, you're only going to your first edge and you're allowing yourself that little bit of time to meditate in the pose, to breathe, to be present. So left leg forward, right foot on the upper thigh. That's not there for you. We'll keep the foot where it was in the previous pose. And what we're gonna do is twist here. So left hand, right knee or upper thigh, Right fingertips, just behind the hips. Draw that right shoulder open and gaze over. And just breathe in here. Try and relax the neck. So I do have a tendency and everyone does to kind of lean the neck into it and overstretch the neck. Neutralize the neck and, feel, and then draw the right shoulder back, lengthen through the spine. Option. If the foot is on the upper thigh, to reach round and try and clasp the toes, it's really not necessary. As long as we're taking our attention to that right shoulder and opening up, lengthening through the spine, relaxing that neck and breathing deeply. Just two more deep controlled breaths. and gently release. Same thing second side. So I won't talk as much this time. You just go ahead and take your option. Remember to keep the neck nice and relaxed. Remember to keep drawing, actively drawing the left shoulder back, lengthen the spine, gaze over the shoulder and breathe. And gently release. Let's come into butterfly pose. So bring the feet together. Another good one to sit on a cushion for. Try it. If you are quite stiff in the hips and the lower back, sit on a cushion, lengthen, and then fold. So feet can be as far forward or as close into the body as feels good for you. So open the feet like a book. Feet are together, but then use your hands to open the feet like a book. Lengthen the spine as much as possible and then fold and breathe. Relax the face. Relax the hips. Let the legs become heavy. And just take one more deep inhale and exhale here in butterfly pose. Okay, again, grabbing that cushion. Getting sleepy now. Grab that cushion, sit on it, and extend the legs to where it feels good for you. Your legs might be here. That's fine. Or well, they might be super duper wide. That's fine. It really doesn't matter. Elevate the hips. If 
that feels good. Flex the feet. Just feel that lovely stretch in the legs. And then we're going to really gently just move from left to right. Inhale, center. Exhale, down. And a bit of energy back into the body. You can go as slow, as fast as you like. I like to do a nice powerful exhale as I fold. Inhale through center. Exhale, fold. We can get a little bit fancier. Reach the one hand over. Main thing is we're flowing from side to side. We're opening up the lower back. We're opening up the hamstrings. We're opening up the hips. Just a few more rounds. And then after your next exhale, come to center. Everyone grab your cushion, sit on your cushion. And um, actually, yeah, okay. So we're just gonna open up the shoulders one more time. So interlace the fingers behind you, draw the shoulders back, gaze up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, breathe deeply into the chest. And then bring the left hand to the inside of the right waist, the palms facing out, and then take the right hand to the left knee. See how that feels? If it's too much, back off. If that feels good, stay there. There's always the option to clasp, bring that left foot up and clasp the left toe with the left hand. Next, relaxed. Breaths, slow, deep and controlled. Last stretch, same thing opposite side. So, comfortable seated position, right hand to the inside of the left waist, staying there, drawing the shoulder down and back. Option to place the left hand on the right knee, gazing behind you. Or lift. The right foot up, clasp the right toe with the right hand, open up the right shoulder, three breaths, wherever you are. And gently release. Place your legs in a comfortable seated position or you can come into half lotus or full lotus, whatever feels good for you. Palms face up. You can take any mudra that you like. You can bring the forefinger and the thumb to touch. You can leave the palms open. You can bring the ha um, stack the hands on top of each other and let the thumbs touch. Just do whatever feels right for you. Relax the shoulders. Close the eyes, feel the body. As you inhale, feel yourself being filled with new energy. And as you exhale, soften. Let the hips ground down, let the shoulders relax. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. Feel that energy rising up from the root all the way to the top of the head. Pause at the top of that inhale. Then exhale through the mouth. And again, inhale through the nose, feel the energy rising up from your base. All the way to the top of the head, pause at the top of the inhale. And exhale, let it go, relax completely. Inhale, engage that pelvic floor, feel the breath, the new energy rising up through the entire body. Let's do that two more times.
And last breath. Place the hands over the heart center and take a moment to connect with something, someone that you're grateful for. And as you inhale, let that gratitude, that sense of joy spread from the heart center into the chest, into the shoulders, into the belly, into the hips. Keep breathing in that gratitude and joy until the whole body feels full. Allow a gentle smile to come across the face. And release the hands down. Just take a moment to acknowledge to yourself that you are perfect, you are whole, and you are complete, just as you are in this moment. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this little chill practice. Have an amazing day or night. Namaste.